Greetings fellow Irishman, I'm Chevalier and I bid you welcome to the No Name Irish campaign. Last episode I encountered a bug here, for example when I switched from Protestant, from Catholic to Protestant, I still had the, what's it called, the excommunication basically on, which doesn't allow me to get alliances with these guys for example that are still Protestant, so they are gonna just destroy my ability to, to get alliances and defend myself. Uh, I had planned to kill off, uh, what's it called, France, I do have the troops priority as well, if you look here you'll see that Austria, Aragon has 11,000, Austria has 36, 47,000 if I had Castile, 37, 33 actually, uh, what, that will be 80,000 troops, if I had uh, Arag Naples has another 10,000 troops, with my 30,000 troops, it's over 1,000 troops, 100,000 troops uh, compared to the France and their small allies. Let's see, France 44, Hungary 21, so yeah. It's a squash, I'll be able to finish off France, and that's a good fucking leader. But yeah, at this point in time, I already formed Ireland, I have colonists in the New World, I am the primarily colonist of the New World, although this guy here is killing me to some degree. Man, this, this guy's have a fucking 656. That is fucking huge. Oh, I think it's a reroll guy, right? Yeah, it should be a reroll. But yeah, Castile doesn't have exploration. Have, he has exploration ideas and expansion, but he's slowly moving its up into Brazil. Again, I am the main, uh, the main controller of these areas around this place, so the new world is mine. I'm also Protestant. Again, this game is pretty much one. Uh, the next part is just uh, basically a trench warfare against France to take all of, our, all of their forts. Like, they have a huge amount of fucking forts at this point. Like, how many? 2, 4, 6, 10, uh, what? 11 forts. And they have more, right? Uh, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 forts. And they had. I should have had 11 forts uh, with another 3 here as 14 forts, 15 forts with uh, Avignon. So, yeah, huge amount of forts if they all fully, fully, let's say, fully in control of their, uh, of their culture, cultural territories. But, yeah, I'm getting this campaign here mainly because an expansion is coming as well, and I have to do another campaign there as well. And there is also the actually two campaigns on that side. I would like to do a Teutonic campaign, as well as a Teutonic into Prussia campaign, as well as uh, probably check out uh, some. Uh, what should I call them? Uh, tech, uh, sorry, not technologies. Uh, countries that are in a different tech tic, uh, technology region, and see how they can gain the, the new technologies. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably do a Teutonic campaign. On this slot or on the on another slot, depending on uh, if this campaign still rolls on. But I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I, as you can see, I accomplished some of the objectives. I squashed England. I squashed Castile. Uh, I squashed Scotland. I went to the New World. Pretty standard stuff. I currently have now 44 force limit, uh, more than uh, than what uh, England had at the start of the game, I think. Yeah, they had around 40, uh, around the same with the naval size, so I'm basically at the size of England, if I would have taken all of this land here, should have been done already. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this to some degree, and I'll see you in the Teutonic campaign, and the whatever nation I choose to do the, the less advanced uh, technology, to see how I can uh, not exploit, of course, not exploit, I don't want to exploit anything, just... just Bend the rules to my to my will, but yeah, I'm Chevalier. Hope you enjoy this, and I'll see you in the in the next series. Ciao.